So you're ready to take out your first Bitcoin loan at btcpop.co. That's great to hear. This video was put together to make sure you're ready and to guide you through some of the key steps towards getting funded. The first step is to make sure you understand Bitcoin loans. Bitcoin loans are different than the fiat loans that you're used to. You see, fiat is an inflationary currency, which means it's generally easier to pay back a loan over time. Whereas Bitcoin is deflationary, meaning it's generally harder to pay back over time compared to fiat. This is important to keep in mind when taking out a Bitcoin loan, because if your profits are in anything other than Bitcoin, the loan has the potential to become very expensive. BTCPOP does offer fiat tied loans and plans to launch loans in other cryptocurrencies soon, but as of now more than 95% of all the loans are Bitcoin based, as that is what investors want. So if you're still comfortable with the currency risk of your loan, the next step is to head on over to btcpop.co and sign up. Remember, dealing with cryptocurrency requires high security, so head on over to the security tab right away and set up two-factor authentication and other precautions. Once you have created your account and looked around a bit, the next step is to get verified. Verification is a necessary process which connects your identity to your BTC Pop profile. Verification consists of a few different tasks. First will be entering and verifying your identity and address. This can be done with pictures of your government ID or passport and a utility bill with your matching name and address. However, if you're in a high risk country or your IP risk is high, you will be required to do address plus verification, which is a physical letter with a code mailed to you. This costs postage and takes as long as a normal letter in your area. The next step is to connect your cell phone. This is important as it can be used for two-factor authentication which is highly recommended and it can act as a backup device for your account. Next, to make sure it's actually you, you'll be required to take a selfie of yourself holding up a specific code. This helps us match your face to your identity picture. Then, to make sure you're alive and kicking, a short video can be taken of you holding a different code and saying your name out loud. After successfully completing these steps, you are then able to take out a loan. But in order to get funded, it's highly recommended you verify all categories. This includes submitting recent pay stubs, as well as connecting social media accounts such as Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you read the directions during this process, as there are some specifications for picture and document submissions. The fourth and longest step to taking out a Bitcoin loan is building reputation. BTC Pop is a reputation-based lending platform that is also community-driven. When you're asking for a loan, you are trying to convince the community to invest their hard-earned Bitcoin in you, and you're staking your reputation that you will pay back. And, by far one of the best ways to grow that reputation is to become part of the community yourself. Some other good practices to building reputation are to set a profile picture so people begin to recognize you and to invest alongside the community, even if it's a really small amount, to learn how the process works and learn how the community works. You can quickly learn how to become a good borrower by becoming a good investor. If you have a good reputation on another platform like local bitcoins, Paxful, or eBay, make sure you share this reputation in your loan request and prove you own them. This will transfer a bit of that reputation over to BTC Pop. Now, after you've verified and built some reputation, it's time to actually create your listing and take out a Bitcoin loan. At BTC Pop, there are multiple ways to borrow Bitcoin. I'll focus on the standard loans, but they are all worth looking into. Custom personal loans are the most popular and flexible. I'll share some tips to get funded with the number one tip being that collateral is king at BTC Pop. Digital collateral consists of different altcoins such as Dash or Ethereum that is locked away until the loan is repaid. BTC Pop's peer-to-peer -peer shares can also be used as collateral. And with enough collateral, even a newbie with no reputation will get a loan funded. Due to its young age, peer-to-peer -peer lending for now is still a little risky, so high collateral is needed for beginning loans. 100% collateral or more is recommended for your first or early loans. Otherwise, if collateral is not an option, start small. Really small, like 0.01 Bitcoin small. You won't get funded and you'll likely get discouraged if you try and get a large loan right away. And if you don't get funded the first time, don't worry. You just need to sweeten the deal a bit for investors. You can do this by asking for a smaller amount, adding collateral, or listening to other feedback from investors. Once funded, the last and most important step comes, paying back your loan. Late payments hurt your reputation a lot, so make sure you pay attention to the time and time zone of the due date, and it's always a good practice to have your coins ready to pay ahead of time. Investors don't like excuses, and you will be charged late fees. 
If you do get yourself into trouble, make sure you communicate thoroughly with your investors and make as big a partial payments as possible. So there you have it, a quick intro to get in your first Bitcoin loan. If you have any more questions, visit BTC Pop's blog at blog.btcpop.co. So long and happy borrowing.